my space is literally running out on my phone. Um, I just took like three audios off of it and it's still um, full. But nevertheless, I got something to say. And I really can't use my microphone right now because I'm not stationary at my desk. I'm making me a second helping of coffee, which I know is not good. But nevertheless, it's cold and dreary outside. And I want some more coffee. I'm using um, homemade cashew cream in order for my creamer, you know, to put my creamer in there. And um, organic bone char free sugar. Uh, and it's cane sugar. You know, I try to try my best, but I'm not even trying to talk about that. I'm just saying, this is in the midst of this, okay? In the midst of making my coffee, all right? Um, it was within me. It was a direct download. Divine inspiration. Divine wisdom. Divine inspiration. Divine wisdom. He spoke to my spirit, and he was like, you know, that person that spoke to you the other day, saying how they spoke by way of the Holy Spirit, well, I already knew, but it was confirmed by the Holy Spirit, direct download, that this person was used by Satan, was used by Lucifer, was used by demons, inhabiting that vessel um, that did a dishonorable thing at that moment in time. Because this person, this person apparently had an issue with me, but they never came to me. Never came to me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, to resolve the issue or to clear up some confusion that this person stated that they had. Because of one of my videos, I had no idea this person was confused about any of my videos. I had no idea this person had questions about any of my videos because this person never came to me, you know, to um, clarify what they were confused about and or questions that they may have had. But all of this came out um, in public, okay? Well, not really in public, but amongst, amongst people, amongst a group of people, okay? Um, so it came out. And uh, this person said that they spoke by way of the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit just spoke to my spirit saying that no, it, it wasn't the Holy Spirit. Though I already knew that and I let this person know that already. Um, but in a loving manner, of course. But you want to know what also the Holy Spirit directly downloaded to me? Because this person tried to say that the reason why people hate you and or are, you know, maybe downcasting you or anything like that is because, you know, it seems to them that you're a hypocrite. <laughs> like their perception is that you're a hypocrite. You talk about this, but yet you do this. And his example was the fact that, yes, I talk about this false reality and this satanic beast system that's been set up upon this earth and upon these lands over here in the Americas, okay? Because these were free lands before the worst of the heathen came over here and took the inhabitants into captivity okay stole everything that they had stole everything of my ancestors my my forefathers okay forced us off of our lands moved us into the ghettos okay and they created this system on these lands okay and they have been oppressing the people of the most high ever since okay my purpose is to be here to break this down for you and to let you know this is what has happened. Okay? That's my purpose. That's, that's what I have been given to give to you. Okay? That's what I'm here for. All right? And in doing that, the Father has told me that he will supply all of my needs. See, I didn't skip the first step of humility, humbling myself like that of a child. Okay? 
submitting myself to the Holy Spirit, the divine eternal word, the living word, okay, that lives within all of his creation. Okay, this eternal word cannot be changed by any man, nor mortal, no, no mortal, nor entity upon this earth is going to change the living word of the living power of love and life. Okay, and what pisses people off at me is because I have a very firm foundation in which I stand upon because the father has confirmed his word and he has given me validation of his word. So can't no demon, no devil can come against me. None of them can come against me. And this is why they hate me. This is why they hate me because they cannot gain sake. And the things that I have been given to speak. You are not going to change the eternal law of love and life. No matter what you believe. No matter what your perspective is. Your perspective is irrelevant. Okay? Your perception and how you feel about somebody is irrelevant. The father sees the heart. And you can't hide that. See, you can deceive yourself all you want. This is why the scripture does declare that the heart can be deceitful. The heart can be deceitful above all else. Who can know it? But best believe the Father knows it. Best believe your maker knows your heart. Yeah, he does. How heavy is your heart? See, mine's as light as a feather when it comes to how I live my life, how I treat people. See, I, I don't I don't hold grudges. So I ain't got baggage holding down my heart with grudges and envy and hatred and jealousy. I wish for all humanity and all creation to have abundance. I wish for all of us to love one another and treat one another the way that we want to be treated. You know, don't do any refraining from doing to others anything we wouldn't want done to ourselves. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. This is how I live my life. So you want to be mad at me because I don't conform to your ideology. When your ideology has been formed by the evil powers that be of this false ass reality. So be mad. Be mad. I don't care. I will still stand here boldly speaking the eternal word of the Most High. I don't care if you unsubscribe. I don't care if you unfriend me and block me. It has been done a whole lot. Continue to do so because maybe it's not for you at this time. Not everybody has the ears to hear, the heart to receive, and the eyes to see. Majority of the world loves Lucifer. I'm here to help you pick a side. I'm here to really open your spiritual eyes so that you can see clearly who it is you worship. Because this world has tried to blend. This world literally has blended good and evil together. And you think, you think good and evil comes from one source. Well, it doesn't. I'm here to shatter that strong delusion. Okay? The all power of love and life is all good. There is no evil in him whatsoever. Him, her, no evil in the all power of love and life. No evil in the beings that choose to operate in love and joy and mercy, peace, patience, all the fruits of the spirit. There is a difference. You cannot merge these things together. You want to sit there and merge all of these things together because you don't want to come face to face with the fact that you serve Lucifer. Admit who it is you serve. Quit blending good and evil together. 
The all power of love and life is so good and so loving that he gave you free agency to choose. You choose for yourself who you serve by how you live your life. It ain't about what you confess or what you believe. Confess whatever you want. Psych yourself out and believe whatever you want. But how you live your life, the actions that you do to other people and other beings is being recorded at all times. Your heart is being weighed at all times. I understand this. You better humble yourself down several notches because you have no idea when you come against the anointed of the Father. You don't want to do that. I am just trying to warn you. Now, I am not setting myself up in authority over anybody. You want to claim that without any shred of evidence. Just because I have chosen to humble myself to the leading of the Holy Spirit and have been led by way of the Holy Spirit to his scriptures that bear record with his eternal living word that was already within me. And I'm able to just shatter strong delusions and deceptions of Satan. You cannot stop me from doing this. There's many videos on my channel going through all of these scriptures, giving you the validation and the confirmation. And it's not my fault that you choose to ignore these videos. There's 440 videos on my channel. It is so much food for you to be able to eat and grow in the spirit and in truth. But in order to handle my channel, you have to humble yourself like that of a child. Of course, if you're self-righteous and you're set in your dogmatic beliefs, you are not going to gravitate to my channel whatsoever. You're not going to, if you on my channel right now, you ain't going to stay on my channel. The more you want to hold on to dogmatic beliefs that you've been taught all of your life, that's going to make you run, okay? Because you're going to you're gonna want to go to where you are comfortable. My channel is not to make you comfortable, okay? I am here to shatter strong delusions. And I literally live what I speak. And I am on a very solid farm foundation that cannot be moved. And can't nobody pluck me up out of the hand of my father. You hate that. Yeah. You think that this is arrogance. But I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High. I seek it not for myself. I seek not for riches and wealth of this world. My purpose is not to earn an income. My purpose is to do what I have been given and trust that the Most High will supply all my needs. Your perspective and your perception and your opinion and what you believe don't mean a hill of beans. And it won't stop what the Father ordains for my life. Shalom.